Hello and welcome to my channel Mystical Moments. My name is Carol and I am here to give you your monthly tarot reading for this month which is April 2024. We've got a lot of big energies going around this month. We've got them um, where well, we're in eclipse season and uh, we've got a, a new moon in Aries solar eclipse um, on the 8th and we also have Mercury going into retrograde and um, what else have we got and oh, we've got the full moon which I believe is in Scorpio so lots and lots going on but let's have a look I'm using the Rider Waite Smith tarot deck so I'm going to draw it Celtic cross spread and see what this month has in store for us okay so let's have a look remember this is general so we're, we're talking about the general energies here so they're going to suit everybody differently in different kinds of situations so try to be open to that and take the messages as they kind of interact with your with your situations your happenings in your month okay let's have a look what are we starting with what are we starting with let's see oh we're starting with the empress a very nurturing loving um successful abundant um energy beautiful and things are moving quickly maybe it's a little bit too quickly maybe they're going to catch us off guard a little bit but things are definitely definitely moving There's some transitions there um let's have a look what else have we got let me see let's just get these cards all laid out okay so so we've got situations within this month that are talking about a lot of um, abundance coming forward to us. For us to be able to receive this abundance, we're going to have to nurture new things that we are bringing out. Maybe there's something new that you are wanting to offer out into the world. Maybe there is something new that you are birthing out. Maybe it's a child. Maybe it's a new idea. Maybe it's a new business venture. Whatever it might be, it's a really good time or a really good month to really do that, to bring that out. But nurture, nurture, nurture. Okay, it's all about the nurture nurturing stay grounded if you can stay grounded nurture yourself and whatever it is that you are wanting to bring out into the world then you're going to really be able to you know take in the the rewards that will come in the future from this work connecting with others being creative and really communicating clearly with others is the way forward for this month okay and things are going to be moving quickly so you might find it a little bit challenging um, as things are moving swiftly this month with that eight of wands coming in you might be getting messages that you've got to take swift action upon okay um, but things are moving in your favor this is kind of the eight of wands is often it's it's like a bit of a busy bee mess it's kind of like um, a, a blessed mess should I say um, where everything is and everyone is going off in all different directions and it's just busy 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 well it's it's April we're into springtime we're right into the springtime and it is a busy time lots of new growth lots of new ideas coming forward lots of things that are pushing out there into the world especially you know with that Empress card that very fertile energy she really wants to bring some think you into the world this by doing this yeah by harnessing these energies um we're going to be moving forward we're going to be getting away from difficulties or you know a little bit of chaotic times before situations that haven't really been fully serving you and we're moving forward towards something which is much calmer and bringing a whole lot more clarity to the way that we think and see things yeah and how we communicate to others as well but that's all going to go quite smoothly now you know i'm questioning that with mercury being in retrograde especially the communication um, but it's there you know it's it's kind of it's underneath the situation so it's all about getting that getting your communications clear before you put them out there um, because these things are not seen yet um, but the new horizon is there and it's up to you what you want to create on that new horizon when you arrive there yeah but the, you're definitely moving things are shifting the Six of Swords is often a card of um, a rite of passage, yeah? So don't worry about it. You're moving in the right direction. If you're moving and you're not sure where to and you're not getting that clarity, then know that the clarity will come in and that you are going in the right direction. Things have to move. If they don't move, they become stagnant. We've got the Death card sitting at the top of this reading. This is about 
transformations yes yeah? something is transforming in your life something and well that is going to need something to be cut away because we've got to kind of let one thing go in order for transformations to happen we've got to go through some darkness in order to come out into the light or to be able to fully appreciate the light that is in front of us so this is about sweeping away the cobwebs getting rid of the debris getting rid of the dead wood that doesn't serve us anymore yeah and letting things go in a natural order because often you know when we do start to move forwards with clarity and in looking towards new horizons then we are leaving something behind um so try not to be looking back neither of the figures in this six of swords are looking back okay try not to look back because what you are moving away from wasn't serving you at all and it was creating quite a lot of conflict um in your life and we don't want to carry that forward, do we? We definitely don't want to carry that forward. So it's time to let something go, really sever those ties. Um, and yeah, let go and let flow is what I want to say. Because when you're clear on where you want to be or when you're receiving, starting to get clarity, starting to see that bigger picture, then it's really, really, it's just a lot easier to move forward and that journey will be a lot smoother but there are things that need to go okay things that need to go it might sound a little bit harsh but there are things that need to go definitely some changes on the horizon and new things being birthed out okay in the past we've got the fool now the fool is kind of it's a it's a, it's a complete energy of just looking at the situations from a from a an innocent and young perspective yeah so it's a new energy that comes in it's very innocent it's very fresh it's very carefree and that is how we've looked at things in the past okay and that might have caused us to be coming into situations that created a little bit of conflict because we were a little bit naive um maybe as we weren't so burdened then yeah maybe it was easier then but now we've got more responsibilities and we're needing to look at where we invest our time and our resources into a little bit more carefully okay there might be some opportunities for you to do some new study work might be opportunities or it's, it's telling you actually the page of pentacles is really saying that you know this is a really fertile time remember we're always talking about harvest with the empress there but it's a very fertile time to be looking for new opportunities to get out there and explore your options yeah we do have the seven of cups on the base of the deck so i do feel there's going to be many options for you to be able to explore and it's a wonderful wonderful time maybe it's the middle of this month to really start getting into that yeah where can you invest your your finances more more better yeah to get a, a better return for you to create more abundance for you where can you invest your your kind of your study your so that you can create more knowledge and um information so that you can help yourself to fully you know or more fully understand what it is that you're wanting to do or where it is that you're wanting to go this could be investing in new properties it could be you know finding and exploring new avenues for you to work in yeah maybe there's some retraining to do there whatever it might be you're up to the job okay um and it's telling us that this is coming in the near future within the month of, of april so i do feel it's kind of like the near that not the near the middle of april that those opportunities are going to start coming in and you are asked to really go in and explore them quite deeply be very studious you know be careful on your selection on how you select um look at all of the information before you make your decision as to where you want to go and where you want to invest your time your resources into you know so that you can get the best out of that the magician tells you to take very positive action in moving forwards it is a time of great change when we when we're in eclipse season okay the magician brings in a very positive energy he asks you to keep your energies your thoughts yeah um, just your feelings everything very positive and on a high vibrational level he tells you that you can use the energies the universal energies that are all around us um the 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 energies from the universe from the planets above and you can use them in a way that will help you to create what you want to see in your environment in the into physical being you 
you know so you can pluck ideas out of your head you can send it up to the universe and say okay what tools do I have that can help me to really bring this into being into my life so you're very very positive that there's nothing that you cannot achieve this month okay you have all of the tools you have a lot of skills to offer so look at them talk about them yeah communicate them out to others think positively about everything that you have to offer all of the skills that you have maybe you are looking to learn new skills yeah adding more kind of strings to your bow if you like if you're wondering how you can do that or where it is you need to focus your energies upon you're going to need to take some time to think clearly yeah so that you can move things forward in the direction that you want to so in the placement of our environment and how that is influencing this week uh, this month sorry um we are looking at the five of cups so this is a card where we've lost something there's some sorrow it's often sometimes a bit of a deep sorrow a sadness we're cloaked in a black cloak there we're protecting our energies because our energies are low yeah so when our energies are low we do need to collect protect them even more than normal yeah so please do make sure you are protecting your energies um not allowing any losses or upsets to really hold you back because yeah you might have lost something you might be grieving for it you might be sad about what this is it's brought up some upset but if you can turn around and see the blessings of what has happened and there's always blessings sometimes they're hard to swallow but there is always blessings there two cups remain here they are standing upright they are full of blessings for you they're awaiting you they're just waiting for you to turn around and see them so don't be focusing on the negative remember the magician he's asking this is in your action um position yeah he's asking you to focus on the positive aspects of life and not the negatives or the losses or the disappointments or the upsets or the grievances or the grief that you have going on we've got to turn around and look at these two because that is what is going to help us to get over those sad and upset energies and help us to move on okay new opportunities in our hopes and our fears so we are hoping that there's going to be some bright new wonderful opportunities coming our way in the month of april and they will be okay the only way they're not going to show up is if you are frightened that they're not going to show up okay when we stay in fear we block these good things from coming forward there's opportunities there is offers this is a, a spark um, of inspiration a spark of creativity it's a, it's an opportunity that holds a lot of potential look at all of the leaves growing on the wand yeah this is something that's going to get your heart racing it's going to get you a little bit excited but if you're scared that it's not there it might not show up yeah so remember we want to be in the magician's energy not the five of cups energy okay and then we will see these wonderful opportunities coming forward and offering us the potential that we're seeking with that page of pentacles might take a little bit longer than you were hoping okay but i really do feel like they're there for you we've just got to be open to see them we've got to turn around from those three spilled cups from that five of cups and look and focus upon the two cups that are standing there that are there they're filled they're filled with abundance for us they are the blessings that remain we need to focus on that we also need to trust in our intuition because the high priestess is here she is in the position of the outcome of this month yeah which is about being balanced she's very balanced she's having a a lot of patience so we're going to be have to be patient in order to receive the messages to receive the opportunities to receive the gifts that this month has to offer okay listen when we listen to our intuition it's often quite difficult to you know wonder if we're just kind of talking ourselves into believing something or if it is our angels guiding us or our spirit guides or whoever it is that you connect with but the high priestess she has no limits she has no upper limit she connects clearly with spirit and with the other worlds 
yeah she brings in messages she unfolds secrets if there has been secrets that have been held from you you can expect that by the end of the month these will become very clear okay so secrets may be unveiled messages will be received opportunities are coming forward but you've got to be open and receptive to them okay you might not have to you know take too much action here in order to hear the messages or to see the opportunities because if you just open your heart and and say I am receptive to all of the wonderful things that are coming forwards to me this month then it's going to open you up to be able in, in order to receive these things and this is what we want we all want the best we all want one plus two one one plus one to equal two yeah and for things to come together in divine timing in beautiful beautiful ways listen to your subconscious listen to your dreams okay whether they are the ones that you have at night when you're asleep or whether they are the ones that you have when you're daydreaming in your waking hours listen to them and follow them remember if you can dream something you can absolutely achieve it we're asked with the magician you know to keep our thoughts positive and to manifest and then manifesting that and then remain just simply remain open to receive the things that we are manifesting we've got all of the tools they're all there yeah all the tools are there we just need to pick them up and use them let other people see the skills that we have in order to bring those opportunities um, forwards for us I'm going to draw a card from the guardian angel oracle deck which is a beautiful deck from Chrissy Estelle and um, see what this has to bring in to this month's reading let's take a look so it's a beautiful, yeah, we've got the death card, we've got things moving and we've got the five of cups there. But this is all a very, very positive reading. There's opportunities for us to explore and invest in. There are gifts coming our way. Um, we, we have the ability to manifest what we want. That ace of wands could be a new job coming in. If you think, you know, if you are looking for a new job and you think, oh, nobody's going to hire me, you know, blah, 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 blah. Well, they won't if you don't show off your skill set like the magician does. Um, and they won't if you keep thinking that they're not going to. But if you believe that you can, you absolutely will. You've just got to take a little bit of action and then be just open to receive the abundance that comes forward let's have a look what does the guardian angel oracle deck have to offer in this reading for this month let's have a look who have we got charity okay so this has been charitable with our time look at the hearts on that scarf it's a very very long scarf isn't it that's going to keep somebody very warm um look at what we can do look at the love that we can give for free is what i want to say and it is all about the love it's also about our passion i mean she is literally knitting there and she's knitting the hearts into the fabric of the scarf that she is creating what can you create what can you offer that you can give freely to others yeah uh, to be able to to show off your skills to show off your abilities um a little bit of charity goes a long long way is what i feel with that okay um i'm going to draw another card for them enjoy offering your skills out in love to those in need of what it is that you have to offer is going to bring you joy if look at the red as well both of these cards are you know surrounded by red they're so joyful they're so happy and I mean, she's just totally rejoicing in the gift of giving yeah the gift of giving is is just it's just amazing when we can give something positive that we know is going to help somebody else whether that's love whether it's knowledge whether it's our time whether it's some you know some valid information that they can use for their you know to help them to progress then you know when we can give that or even especially when we receive it too it's really uplifting and and it's just gorgeous it's just gorgeous gorgeous energies and it's there it's coming for us we've got to ask our angels to help us with this they're always there they're always charitable with their time maybe you need to be a little bit more charitable with yours or maybe you're needing a little bit of charity from someone um and when you receive that because you're open to receive it with the high priestess it brings a lot of joy 
both in the giving and in the receiving okay and sometimes you know being able to ask for help brings joy to those who are able to help yeah um it's a it's a two-way exchange it helps both the needy and the one who's got the abundance there to give so yeah it's a two-way street and you know for all of us it's going to be working on different levels and in different ways for us but there's a lot of joy there's a lot of abundance there's a lot of happiness and there's a lot of help out there yeah giving and receiving what do the soul's journey cards what have we got to learn from this month what can we learn from this month of april 2024 for our greatest and highest good what can we learn? Friendship. Beautiful. So much connection going on here. Connecting with others that can help us. Connecting with others that we can help. Connecting with others where we can share opportunities and experiences, our skills. Maybe it's where we're connecting co-creating with others um, to be able to you know put our skills together in order to offer more abundance out it says that on the card I understand that a friend is in my life for a reason um, and all of our friends are whatever that reason might be it's a delicate life that we live isn't it and a delicate web that we weave through life and friends come and go and some are here for the short time and some are here for the long time some are here as blessings in our lives and some of them are here to show us lessons but they all have something to offer okay they all everyone we meet has something to bring into our life or a lesson for us to learn from um so nothing is ever coincidental everything is for a reason remember that and look out for synchronicities but look at the friendships that you have this with this month and see what you can learn from them yeah see what you can learn from them it looks to be very very spiritual with all of those beautiful purple hues on the card so a beautiful spiritual friendship might be coming in um which will help to really uplift you in your in in the weeks of this month what is the affirmation that we can best use for this month month of april what is the best affirmation that we can use for this month so yeah i do think new connections are being made new friendships are being made maybe it's from these charitable exchanges maybe it's a friend that's giving charity or maybe it's a friend that's in need of some help okay but there's a lot of joy um in these connections there's a lot to explore yeah we're looking towards the future here. We're manifesting the things that we want and we are open to receive them coming into being. And all we really need to do is to kind of count our blessings absolutely count our blessings and trust that success is there for us we are wanting to see success with that empress card and uh, yeah it's there it is there but we have to be in charge we've got to steer our own ship and we've got to find it what is the um the affirmation i have the power to choose who i want to become this lines up massively with the magician i have the power to choose who I most want to become yeah and this is a time of looking at who is it that you want to become yeah what is it you want to do what opportunities are you looking for in your life because you have the power to bring them into being you really really do I'm going to repeat that affirmation one more time I have the power to choose who I want to become yeah I have the power to choose who I want to become and we all do and we often give our power away the magician is asking you to take your power back to step into your power and to really start something new something wonderful to be confident in the abilities and the skills that you have and to create the life that you want to live and to become the person that you want to become okay the opportunities are there it's a wonderful fertile time for you to be exploring the opportunities and 
just understand and know that the opportunities have huge potential there for you okay friends are going to be important this month you do need to be open to receive the energies coming through there is something that you are needing to disconnect from to let go and to overcome the sadness that that brings um but ultimately, this is a beautiful, beautiful reading and absolutely God is bringing so much joy, so much kind of just loveliness <laughs> into the month of April. So Mercury can be in Mercury, can be in Mercury, blah, blah, blah. Mercury can be in retrograde as much as it wants, but it's not going to stop us from manifesting the things that we want or the person that we want to become. Yeah. Don't allow anything to get in your way. Losses and upsets they always have blessings in the long run and we need to start looking and turning around and seeing what those blessings are that remain in our lives and focusing upon them okay because life is for the living and we need to live it to the max just like the magician does yeah the magician never misses an opportunity he knows he has the skills he knows he has the tools and he knows how to use them and he knows how to harness the power from above in order to bring into being in this physical world what it is he seeks those are your messages for this month i do hope that you enjoy them if you enjoy my readings please do hit that subscribe button give it a like and uh, yeah if you feel feel like you want to give it a share across your socials that'll all really really help me i do offer personal readings all the information is in the description link below um if you do want a private reading with me get in touch and um and i'll get back right right blah right back to you <laughs> okay take care lots and lots of love have an awesome april bye for now Mwah. bye bye